That's my head, babes. I can't even do my eyebrows anymore. Shit yourself. The mum time going on. Careful, careful, careful. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my first vlog as a mother with a newborn. He is still technically they're newborn up until oh up until three months I think, but he's five weeks old today. I feel like I'm kind of coming out of the newborn fog of those first few weeks. Um, those first oh those first few weeks were pretty tough, very tough. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay it down. They're very tough, very up and down. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this and how much you guys will know about. Um, what happened the first few weeks but after I had him um, oh this is Gabe Jeez. this is Gabriel by the way for those that don't know um, my baby boy I'd, oh that's my that's my head babes okay you were being really quiet before I turned the camera on but I had him and then he had jaundice really badly and we had to go back into hospital and have light therapy um, and then have blood tests after that that lasted about another week so we didn't really get home and like start being, uh, I don't know, getting into the swing of things till about a week after I had him. Um, so it got off to a bit of a rocky-ish start. It was, it was very emotional. But yeah, I feel like we are week five now and I'm starting to feel a bit more like myself. Kind of have a bit of a routine. Um, as in, I know when he feeds and when he's going to nap and I feel like I, I know him a bit more. Like... When he's crying, I feel like I know when he's just being fussy, when he's hungry, when he's overtired. I feel like I know how to comfort him to get him to sleep most of the time. Um, so yeah, I'm just feeling a bit more together, really. Because um, those first few weeks, I just, I couldn't even, I don't know, you just can't, you have, you have no capacity for anything. Um, I don't know, like people would message me and I'd message back and I'd just completely forget what we'd messaged and I just wasn't really present in any other way than feeding him and that was it really. Uh, today I just woke up and felt like starting to vlog um, and I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if it will be a traditional weekly vlog or it will just be snippets here and there from the next few days. But we are actually registering Gabriel today. So we are going to get his birth certificate. I don't know if we get it today actually, but yeah, we have to you have to register them. I can't remember how many weeks it is after the birth, but basically making him a fully fledged real life human. So that's only just down in town. It's about a ten minute walk, if that. And yeah, so it's quite a big milestone of a day. And I've got lots of things to catch up with you guys about. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been much more active on stories since I had him as I've been talking about my breastfeeding journey. At the moment I'm kind of, I'm breastfeeding here and there but it's quite minimal to be honest and then bottle feeding with formula most of the time. I'll talk about it at some stage but breastfeeding is like a whole different journey which I'm sure many of you that have done it um, can sympathise with. Everyone on Instagram is so wonderful um, giving me advice. It, yeah, it was a lot. So, um, like I say, I'm still breastfeeding and we're actually going to the hospital next week because one of the midwives picked up that he might have a tongue tie and I got a feeding person out to come see me um, and she like gave him a proper assessment and agreed that he may do so. They've referred me to, back to hospital to go next week and see if we can sort it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I just thought I would come on and start this vlog. Um, I'll get my brain together and then we can have a proper catch up. This one, my he's just, look at his little neck at the back. He's got so big, he's put on so much weight, it's great. Um, but yes, we're here, we have a baby Gabe and it's all very exciting. I'm happy to be back, feeling like myself. It's nice to, to actually feel like I want to do this because I didn't for so long and I wondered if I ever would want to do it again. Um, but yeah, here we are. We're in the bathroom. We haven't done this for a while, have we? Had a good old catch up. I thought I would put some makeup on today. I haven't put makeup on, well, 
barely through lockdown and definitely not since having Gabe. But we're registering him today. Did I really say that? And I mean, it's not really a, a big occasion. No one's going to be there. We just go and register him. Um, but I just thought I might as well, you know, maybe just make myself feel a bit more put together. And yeah, we might make like a little afternoon of it, perhaps. I don't know if my birth story will be up before or after this video. Um, but yeah, the first few weeks has been as wild as everyone says it is. It's ups and downs, um, lots of tears. Couldn't have, couldn't have, um, I mean, everyone told me and I felt like, no, I didn't. I mean, you can't really prepare for it. You can try, but you will not be prepared. It will never be how you think it's gonna be when you first have a baby. The biggest challenge I think has been breastfeeding. That's been the biggest thing that's made me feel upset, feel low, feel disconnected from everything. Um, it's more that than the baby itself, or like Gabriel himself. And I said this on Instagram, kind of taking any joy out of this part. And it's really difficult because in the first few weeks, all anyone tells you is to enjoy it. All anyone tells you is like how much love you'll be feeling and all this stuff. And it's, it's not always like that. And it is really difficult. It's really hard to enjoy it when you're in it. Obviously now I'm coming out of that first few weeks, I do look back and think, oh, I missed those first couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, it is a really like funny roller coaster of emotions um, because you don't feel like yourself. And yeah, for me, it was breastfeeding that took the biggest toll on that experience and any sort of enjoyment. Um, I have been very up and down about breastfeeding. I've spoken a lot about it on Instagram in detail, so I have a highlight on there so you can kind of see the journey. But just to kind of, sorry, I've got a mirror that's like shining. Just to gloss over, um, I think I mentioned before I wasn't particularly, bo not bothered about breastfeeding, but at first I just thought, I'll see what happens. I know it's really, it can be really difficult and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, because Gabriel had jaundice um, and I had to go back into hospital with him, which I'll, I will have or will talk about in my birth story, um, I had to introduce formula because he lost so much weight. And that really was a bit of a godsend because it just really helped with breastfeeding. Well, I think it helps and hinders. People have very different opinions on this, I'm sure. Um, but because of that, I kind of took a step back from breastfeeding because I was just wanting to get him well and wanting him to put on weight. So I was like, well, I don't have enough milk. Let's just, you know, do the formula. And I would combination feed. So I would breastfeed him first for about half an hour and then top him up with formula. Um, but really I was just like, I, I don't have enough milk. He's so hungry. Um, so it was more kind of constant. Like I can't even do my eyebrows anymore. <laughs> I had like different days where I'd feel more confident about it. I'd have lots of down, like bad breastfeeding days where I would just feel like, I would just dread every feed because he would feed for so long and then still not be satisfied. And then there's all this stuff like, oh, you know, cluster feeding, because they're trying to help your milk. I mean, all this stuff, but it's very difficult. Like, I don't know, because the messaging with breastfeeding is just to keep going and that's very, very hard to do. It's almost a bit cultish, like, I don't know, just in the sense of it's like, oh, you know, whatever pain, however your mental health is, however you feel, just get it and just keep going. So yeah, we'll see. I am breastfeeding a bit more now and pumping and we're just going to go from there. But um, yeah, I've put some makeup on my face. My brows look a bit severe, but I'm sure they'll calm down. Um, I need to sterilize some bottles i just realized this has got a hole in it basically been living in this it's like my like some kind of nursing bra and then this is just like a beach cover up um and then pajamas so yeah to put actual clothes on it's quite exciting today and it's such a lovely day as well so um yeah i've got some posts i need to go and get and i think one of those things might be a nappy bag or a diaper bag um i can hear gabe crying he's just feeding him a bottle um but yeah that's that's where we are. I feel like that wasn't a very articulate catch up, but yeah, I guess 
this is how things are going to be from now aren't they just a bit all over the place and i apologize for anyone who doesn't really care about baby content or hearing about babies or anything um and i don't oh god that's that's gone very blue like oh i actually changed my instagram name because i was this girl's life now i'm this mum life i'm not really sure i'm not really sold on that name to be honest but i just thought well i've got a baby so i can't really be this girl anymore um but yeah um apologies to anyone that's not interested in baby things it's just it is all consuming when you have a child um so yeah that's that's where we are so i show you our daytime setup we have got a sleepy head here got the gray one some kind of blanket or muslin this blanket is from baby maury it's a really nice waffle one i love it obligatory muslin and then a nursing pillow just here Gabe's just having his nappy changed by daddy, that's why he's not here. But yeah, this is our daytime setup. We also have our baby gym playmat thing here. He's a little bit too young to like really look at it, but it's good for him to, when he's awake, just to lie on. He does look at things. This is from Skip Hop. Um, I just got it from John Lewis. It's quite expensive for what it is, but I think playmats generally are. And then I also have this book that I got for him from Kidley because I read that apparently babies, newborns can only see black and white. Um, so yeah, I will prop this up when he's lying on here and he'll just have a look. This oh, also came with the play mat, it's a tummy time pillow. Um, so yeah, that's our, that's the daytime setup just here. <laughs> I also just wanted to show you this because I have been very lucky with my pregnancy and baby things and I've been gifted a few things. I'll show you the things that I've been gifted. None of the stuff that I just showed you, I was gifted. Uh, we bought all of that. But um, there have, I think I mentioned actually, I candy gifted me a buggy, which was amazing. Um, and also we, our, our crib is from Snooze. We got the Snooze pod, but also gifted. So I'll show you that. Um, but I have also been gifted this very recently, which is, something that I definitely needed and I was so excited and um, because it's a brand that I absolutely love um, and when I was looking at these things that was one of the brands that I had shortlisted um, and it's a nappy bag it's a nappy rucksack nappy baby bag um, and it's from Tibra and Marl and I just love this leather I think it's so because it looks like a normal rucksack um, and then Hainsey can use it too because it's not like super girly or anything and it comes with a changing mat. Oh, and a little pouch. So it comes with a changing mat. And then this little leather pouch. And then it's got all your little compartments. So I'm going to pack this for when we go out. But yes, can you see the compartments in there? Again, like I said, really sorry if you're not interested in baby things. <laughs> this won't always be the case because I won't. Like, this is just very new to me, isn't it? Um, compartments in there. And then there's this. Which is just a normal front pocket. Um, right, I need to finish getting ready. Hello, my baby. New nappy bag. Do you like it? Do you like it? Let's put, put our stuff in it. Nappies. Wipes. We've got a changing mat in there. What else do we need? That's it. There's nothing else in here, is there, Gabe? Nothing in there. We've got your little hat, although we probably won't need that today. I know. Where should this go? In the bottom, do you think? I just feel like it might get stuff all over it, and the same with the hat, but maybe not. i just do it like that. I could do, I suppose, couldn't I? Just hang it over the edge. But it looks like there's clips for a strap. But I can't see a strap in here. Oh, we should maybe put a change of clothes in there in case you shit yourself. Oh, muslins. We need muslins, don't we? My baby boy. Oh. I thought I would just show you my outfit to mark um, a first properly going out occasion. Um, we have been out. As I said, we've been doing walks. Hainsey and I did go out for dinner with Gabe. Um, two weeks ago so I have been out but I feel like this is a proper occasion I suppose um so I've put a proper outfit on whereas before I've just stayed in my like pajama looking outfit basically oh hair is all, always up like this these days because that's just a step too far to 
do my hair and make it look presentable. Um, but I am just wearing this out, um, this very old shirt from COS, which I'm sure many of you um, recognise. I wore it during pregnancy as well. And then these are the linen trousers I bought when I was pregnant in a size 16. And I actually barely wore them when I was pregnant because we were in lockdown. And so I was a bit like, oh, was that a waste of money? But what I have done is just, sorry, you can still got a bit of a mum tum going on, but I am a mum, so it's to be expected. Um, I have just tied them really tight at the top. And I actually quite like how they fit. Um, they remind me of this brand on Instagram, which I can't remember what it's called. It's called Monica something, um, and they do relaxed linen trousers like this. But yeah, I just folded up the bottoms, tied the waist, and I think I think it works to be honest. And I've just got some cheap ASOS flip flops that I bought when my feet was too swollen to fit anything else in. Um, so yeah, this is the um, cool mum look <laughs> to go and get Gabriel registered or you can see the bedside table here is not as um, put together as it used to be and you can also see I have a breast pump on there I rented the Medela one uh, the hospital grade one which you can't buy um, I used this one in hospital and it was really really good um, and it's quite well I think it's quite reasonable to rent per month but I can talk a bit more about that if anyone's interested but um, I'll probably talk about it on Instagram but yeah there's my outfit and oh I should probably sort this piece of hair out. Oh, 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 careful, careful, careful. I'm gonna get it all down your onesie. Oh, is that a little farty pants? Is that a little farty pants from you, was it? Mwah. I've just realised I put makeup on yesterday to go and register Gabriel and then I obviously didn't wash it off because I look quite a state. I've still got eyebrows in though, so that's okay. It's Wednesday morning. It's the first day of autumn, it's quite gloomy. Let me show you this onesie, if I can take this muslin off actually, without him waking up. Oh no, you know, <laughs> you know when you've managed to put them down to get the solution, you're like, oh my god, amazing, and then you do something and they look like they're going to wake up. Please don't wake up. Oh no, is it going to go back to sleep? SOS. Okay, I had to call in the big guns, which is my um, Ergo Baby Wrap, but I also have another one of these from a brand called Freerider. I did wake him up and then he wasn't going to go to sleep, but this thing is a surefire way to get him to go to sleep. Um, I knew that I wanted to try baby wearing, but I wasn't really sure how it was going to go, um, because these wraps are quite... Um, not difficult to get to grips with but they can be a little bit of a faff whereas you can buy I know Ergo Baby do like a newborn one which I think I'm going to get just to take with us on walks like when we go out um, and you just whack it on it's much easier this is a bit of a faff so if the baby's crying and um, you feel a bit like oh I've got to get this on um, but they do really work because it just sends them right to sleep and then you can get things done. I'm struggling with Gabriel now, particularly in the day. Once I get him to sleep on me, putting him down, he'll wake up within like 10 minutes. Sometimes he doesn't, it really depends. Sometimes he'll just sleep through, but um, it can be quite hit and miss. So if you want to get anything done in the day, baby wearing is the way forward. Um, and it's just because daddy is asleep at the moment because we take it in turns overnight. Um, so he usually gets up about 11 or midday and then he'll be with me for like the rest of the day um, So I, I know that I've got time when I can be baby free and he he'll be here to hold him or whatever um, But yeah, if you're by yourself Then baby wearing is the one even to just go make a cup of tea <laughs> So I've just had a shower daddy has taken over baby duty so that mummy can have a shower and wash her hair So that's great but yeah, Hainsey is um, with Gabe at the moment and I want to pop into town because we're apparently going to have, well, 
they've mentioned like more lockdown-ish measures. We're not in a full lockdown. But I worry that people are already starting to stockpile and alongside toilet paper, one of the things that seems to be out of stock, and I went to Sainsbury's yesterday and it was out of stock and I wondered why, um, it's formula and nappies. So I need to, Gabe's gone up a size in his nappies. He's no longer size one, he's now size two. And um, we needed formula anyway, so I'm gonna just nip out and see if I can get a couple of packets of those. I'm not gonna stockpile them, but just get some because we do need them. And also I want to try and get a, one of those bouncy chairs for him because we only have, when we're not holding him and he's got awake time, the only option is to lie him on the play mat or just lie him down, just full stop, or us to hold him. And I feel like sometimes he's fine lying down for a bit, but then he gets frustrated and he's not necessarily ready to go to sleep or, or do anything else, but he just doesn't want to lie down anymore. But then the only alternative is for us to hold him so uh, until he goes to sleep. So I wanted to get one of those bouncer chairs um, because I think he might be big enough to be in one. And then you can get like mobiles to go across them so he can play um, and then watch us if we're making lunch or anything. So I do want to see if I can get one of those too. And was there something else? No, that was it. Yeah, it does it. It hurts. I'm not sure if I like poked it or put something in it. Oh, focus. Here's daddy. Good, good He's like stuff. contorting. Just, just chill your Bless little self. Bless him. Chill your little self. There we go. That's better. So we, yes, I haven't spoken about registering registering him yesterday because we went to do that and it was um, all very official, wasn't it? The registry office and it was all very grand. Um, and the registrar was very nice. We just had to answer questions, say who we are. Yeah, we had to. Um, they asked us up. Oh, now here was what was interesting. They asked us if we'd been married before and if we had any other kids. Yeah. Obviously, it's no. To Luckily, both of those. no. But I just thought that could have been potentially hilarious if, as a couple, you've never really had that conversation and then you go to get your <laughs> child registered on a legal document. You can't lie, obviously. And they go, have you been married before? And you have to go, y yes. Have you got kids? Pre four? <laughs> <laughs> Four. Four. Four, got, four different children. You've got four children. Yeah. And plus two. <laughs> yeah. Now plus one. So. Um, so yeah, that was quite interesting. And then they asked our profession, and this was another part that was quite funny, because I only have one profession. And as soon as they asked, I thought, oh, what's Mary going to say? Because she's got loads of professions. <laughs> So this is going to be interesting, do you know what I mean? She's got about five or six different professions that she can choose from. I'm a Libra, I can't decide. Um, and then she she should have put down entertainer. No. I'm an, I'm an entertainer of sorts. Entertainer first. So. First and foremost. No, I, I couldn't have put that. Digital guru. Digital guru. No, not really. So Healer <laughs> of the masses. That's right. Um, so, no, I said hairdresser because that's Self -love the Self-love expert. Yeah, all of them. Morale booster. Professional yeah. morale booster. <laughs> That's me. That's my profession. That's my profession. Um. Dirty nappies. That's my life now. Every time we leave the flat, it involves taking dirty nappies down to the bin. So this is my first outing son's baby, in case you're wondering. I did go out a couple of days ago because sometimes it's just easier for me to just pop and get what I need to get. Although I do love to bring the buggy out and it's great because you have the thing underneath the buggy so you can just buy loads of stuff and just shove it in the buggy and you don't have to worry if you've not got bags for it. But anyway, but yeah, it's a bit weird going out without the baby because I feel like from being pregnant or having the push chair, you feel like, I don't know, you identify as someone with a child and then when you're just by yourself, it's a bit like, oh, it's just me. That's a bit boring. And people aren't, like, they don't smile at you like they do when you're pregnant or when you have a push chair. Because <laughs> I just feel like people love pregnant people and love babies. So when I was heavily pregnant, whenever I went out, it was really nice because random people just smile at you. And when either both myself and Hazy or just myself is out with the push chair, again, people smile at you and they will, like, look in the push chair and see the baby and stuff. Um, and I don't mind that stuff. I really like it just because I think... It's, it never comes from like a place of, I don't know, it never comes from an unkind place. 
people just love babies. Um, so I embrace that because we need a bit more love in the world. So yeah, we're lucky because I can just walk into town. It's two minutes from our flat. Um, and it's nice to be able to leave Hainsey with the baby because I know he likes his little alone time with Gaby. I've just thought I brought you to the shops with me, but there's actually no point because you have to wear these masks. So I can't really chat to you when I'm in the shop. But anyway, we've just um, got some snacks <laughs> and didn't get the bouncer. I think we'll have to get it online. But I did get something else. Um, is this still blurry? Or is it my eyes? So I'll show you when we get home. I feel like my hair looks really fluffy. Um, I might take my shoes off actually. So I said I needed nappies for Gabe. These are the ones that we use. The Natty or Natty ones. Um, he's now a size two, he was size one. Um, and I knew I wanted to use these nappies from before he was born. Um, had so many recommendations. A lot of people say that Aldi are really good for nappies. We just don't really have one that's that close to us. Um, but I've been really impressed with these that he there's been no leakages even when he's had like a poo explosion it's contained everything um so yeah I've got no complaints about these nappies I think they're really good so yes he's now size two because he's a big boy I went into Jojo Mam on Bebe and because they have a swaddle suit um because I swaddle him with a blanket but I think sometimes in the middle of the night that can just be a real faff so I wanted to get a swaddle uh like pre-made swaddle type thing and they had this one and the brand is Perflow and it starts off as a swaddle and then you can also have it as a grow bag when they're a bit bigger so I thought that was really good um so we're going to give that a go it's a 2.5 tog uh which is all seasons it says um but yeah I thought this could be worthwhile and not as fiddly as swaddling with a blanket and then the last thing I bought was this baby carrier from baby Bjorn um, it's the baby car it's the mini baby carrier and I mentioned about let me turn you around actually I mentioned about having the aura sorry it's called the aura from ergo baby their wrap called the aura and I also have one from free rider and I really like those wraps um, I think they're great and great for around the house um, I take one out in the nappy bag with me whenever we go out. But they can be a bit of a faff. I've got the hang of it now, but if you've got a screaming baby and you're trying to faff around getting your wrap sorted and then put them into it, it can be a bit of a faff. And also, you need to make sure you do it tight enough um, and all this stuff. And I don't think it's the kind of thing that Hainsley would adopt. So I thought getting something like this would be great because then Hainsley can carry him as well. And also we can take this out and it's just a bit easier to whack this on and then whack the baby in there. It is expensive and you can buy ones that are slightly more expensive but last a bit longer. Um, but they're just a bit more industrial, like proper rucksack type things. And I just, I quite like that this, if you can see the pictures on the back, it's it still looks quite soft and comfortable. Whereas a lot of the other baby carriers, as I say, they're like rucksacks. So I feel like I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd want something like that around the house, especially when he's so small. Like, I just think it might be a bit abrasive. I'm not sure. But, or maybe just not as cosy, because, like, a wrap is really, really soft, obviously. And this looks, like, nice and soft and snuggly for him. Uh, so, yes, I decided to get that. I was also on the hunt for the Baby Bjorn bouncer, but they didn't have that in stock, so I'm going to have to get that online. That's all I have to say, actually. The rest of today will probably be filled with lots of cuddles on the sofa and that's about it. So this is the Baby Bjorn carrier. I obviously don't have a baby in here, but I just thought I'd try it out. Um, it looks, I mean, it looks like I'm about to take off, doesn't it? Can I tuck those in somewhere, do you think? I think Gabe will fit nicely in there, but this little flap here, you can kind of release, release it so that then as the baby gets bigger, you can, like, this is just extra fabric for them to sit on, if you see what I mean. So yeah, I'm quite, I'm chuffed with that and it is really nice and soft as well. I can just imagine walking around with him and this goes up when they're newborn because their head bobs about all over the place, but then you can fold it down and they can hold their own head up. So there we go. I'm a professional mum, don't mind me. Good morning, it's Sunday. And this vlog is really quite long, so I thought I would just come on here and uh, wrap it up, say goodbye to me and my little hiccupy hun. Um, I think we've got a bit of a colicky baby on our hands. 
Um, he's not been in the best of spirits these last couple of days. It's been quite challenging. But yeah, I'd quite like to find out what's going on because colic isn't actually a, a, a thing. It's like, a, it's like an umbrella term for just digestive issues. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to get him off to sleep because he's just had his morning feed. And I, he looks so cute in this onesie today. I bought him, I meant to show you in this vlog, but I'll show you in the next one. I bought him his first like typical boy clothes. I wouldn't usually buy loads of blue stuff, but I was in H&M the other day and I just saw these packets of onesies and this was one of them. You can see it's it's ribbed and it's like a, oh, is that a bit of thread on your back? Anyway, it's like a more kind of blue mall type effect. Um, and then we've got some little socks on his little chunky legs. How cute is that? I love putting socks on him. I bought socks for him because I kept seeing on Instagram these little chunky baby legs with socks that were too big for them on. Everyone was like, don't bother buying socks, they'll, they'll be off. But he, like, they do sometimes come off, like, if he's kicking around a lot, but they stay on generally. And I feel like when he's in a onesie with no legs, sometimes his little feet get cold. So um, I like to put some socks on him. Right, I came on here to wrap this up, not to have a chat. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and get this one off to sleep. And thank you so much for watching. And also thank you so much for the comments on my like newborn, like my baby announcement video that I put up. I, haven't, I was started vlogging before I put that video up so I'm only just now able to say thank you. Everyone was so lovely. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, how great is this? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this first newborn vlog. Hopefully there'll be plenty more where this comes from. And Gabe and I will see you on the next one.